evening, friends. Day of Rolling Springs Ranch. Well, Friday night, 40 degrees out, putting the cows to bed, getting them in their stalls. I come back out and I smell something burning. I happen to walk over by the electrical cord that the RV's plugged into, into the box that we just ran a couple months ago, and uh, noticed that that's where the smell was coming from. I had a bag around it because it had rained quite a few times, and uh, I didn't want the cord, you know, getting water inside of it. So. The only thing I can figure what caused the cord to melt was moisture within the bag. It kind of sucks because I need two different adapters and unfortunately I'm going to have to run to Campbellsville to Lowe's and hopefully they have what I need. Right now I'm still running on battery backup. I'm not worried about. I got plenty to get through the night into the morning. But having to go on a trip when it's 40 degrees out and not really wanting to, to do this. Plus, I was planning on going to Lowe's tomorrow for some supplies for the house. Well, we're going to X that out of the question because it's $5 a gallon for fuel. Not practical to do two times in one day. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Just just went through Lowe's. Uh, luckily enough. They had everything I needed. Um, 50 amp universal fitting for the end of the RV cord. And I have a new, and it was in a different location, it is a 18 inch dog bone connector. 50 amp over to 30 amp. So this didn't take us very long to get there. Um, time to get on back, boogie gets too cold and uh, I think I'm gonna find something to eat bring home to the missus she's not feeling good and she's having to take care of the uh, the cows as they are bottle fed and dinner time is eight o'clock so all right stay tuned let's go mm -hmm. all right guys back from Lowe's see this is the other end of the cord I hear and it has melted for whatever reason. And we're gonna change it out with another one. Hopefully, got the right one. I think it welded itself together. I have to go grab another screwdriver. I'm starting to think I'm going to need a tool belt. This point. Going to work either. Everything's so melted. So we got a new 30 amp outlet that we put in five months ago when we moved here. Ran a new wire from the breaker box and a new 30 amp breaker. The only thing 
I can think of is why this thing melted was because of the bags that were wrapped around to keep the moisture out. Over time, it kind of backfired. Still fun and that it's hot on. But luckily we caught it just in time. Could have gone. Could have gone really south. Especially if it's going to bust it down. To the laundry mat. Definitely cooked. So we will fix that. New plug. Need that grommet, probably. Not before. That. What's that noise? The cow puking. Rubbing his, rubbing his head. Looks like the wires will fit through there. <laughs> well, we'll wing it. <clears throat> I guess I should have made sure it fit before I bought it. I didn't even pay attention. Coming closer. Well, I can't see. Do you ever have to 
thought of going full time in an RV, there's a lot to consider. Because full timing in an RV is not for the weak. Well, apparently this is not an RV one. It will work. But the wire placement is not as large as the first one. Not as heavy duty? Not as, not even close. So we need to change it. All right, you know what? Put back on me. See it. I mean, it's a little burnt, it's good. Just to get us through the night. Just scrape that red one. Get any plastic off of it. Mm. Preload it this way. Oh man, this is gonna suck. Wouldn't it go on the front side? Front side? Of that screw in that hole? Yeah, if it could fit. This is not what I envisioned. Yeah, that looks like it's gonna work even better. Teamwork makes the dream work. Well, dream work makes the teamwork. What did I say? No. All right, what's next? What's the other one? Black on the other side, right? What's the worst that can happen? Green at the top. Let's put that one in. Did I mention it's cold out here? It's like 40 degrees. Springtime. My nose is running. I don't even get time for this. Those little strays. Strays are in my finger. Hey, we'll be up and going here in a couple minutes. That is the nice thing. All you hear is a few dogs barking in the background. There are no fire trucks, no ambulances, no police cars. No horns. Yep, they were up there. They were up there on the fence line. Uh oh. The sheeps? Yep, they were up against the fence. Hmm. I don't know if I trust this 100%. So what we're going to do is... Oh, angry dogs. 
And we got our neutral wire. Okay. Get rid of any of your little strays. Yep. Jagged tooth from the phone. Anyway. Temporary fix. Temporary. I'm not gonna be able to get the cover on. I guess it will be temporary. All right, well, let's Mysteries. try it. Strays. Nothing right. gonna arc it. I don't, I don't, okay. I don't like it. I mean, it's obviously, this thing's not built for Duty. six gauge wire. I like to go over hill when it comes to the wire. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at that. Mm -hmm. Grab my number two screwdriver. Oh, I should have looked just for an adapter to go from here to there. But I was in a rush. You can order it online. From everything I've read, it's oxidation the slightest oxidation is going to cause heat when you're pulling amps it could be i just don't understand like today was a cool day and normally all winter we were running to oil two oil heaters electric heaters and today we only had one running and that's all nothing else So, everything happens for a reason. Luckily we caught it before we had any fires. I think your wife was sick tonight. You would have left. I did leave. I went to Lowe's. Yeah, before that asshole. You can't say asshole. I can say what I want. I can go beep. Oh well, it's a matter of time. Again, when you're full time RVing, keep in mind something's bound to break. Good enough for tonight. The the oh. You're gonna have to zip that, tie that in. Let's go with something non-flammable. And that's why we tied this up before. Well, we tied it up to keep a drip edge. But we'll just tie it up for dinner. Oh, 35 mile an hour winds tomorrow, guys. It's awesome. The only place I know is that the wind blows plus 30. Alright, I'm gonna go flip the breaker. And just like that, we are back up and running.